Good day. I'm Rob McRoy, the general manager of Daphne Utilities in Daphne, Alabama. One of the top places to work in the United States is ranked by Inc. Magazine in 2010. I want to show you today my biodiesel plant that we built in 2006. We've been running it highly successfully for a number of years now. I think it could do the same thing for you that it's done for us, which is reap us enormous returns. Let me show you first. The footprint of it is very small. It's a very clean plant. We're housed in a 16 by 20 foot canvas building that is very inexpensive, a few hundred dollars at a farm tech or a similar type store. Let me show you my process. It's very simple. It starts out with customers turning in their used cooking oil to us in any container that they choose or ours. We pour it into a tote bin as just a receiving unit, filtering out some of the food particles. Very simple done. We go from there into a cone tank where we just let gravity simply do our oil water separation. We're draining off water off of the bottom. We're decanting clean oil off the top. We go through a two-stage process with that, so we take out as much water as we possibly can. And then it's on to our biodiesel processor. The biodiesel processor that we're using here at Daphne Utilities is the BioPro 190 made by Springboard Biodiesel. It's an incredible unit. If you can wash clothes in a washing machine, you can make biodiesel out of this unit. It's just that simple. You simply put your oil in, you put your chemicals in, you punch start, you walk away for a few hours, you've got biodiesel. It can't get any easier than that. Every batch of biodiesel that we make here at Daphne Utilities, we test for quality control to make sure we're making the best possible product that we can. That's how we make biodiesel here at Daphne Utilities. It's just that easy. It adds to our bottom line. It's a great payoff. It saves the environment. It helps build you a great green reputation for your utility or your city and it can put money in your pocket. Thank you very much.